dropped right on top. Oh, they have dropped right on top of me. Um, defenses. Defenses. Oh, Tom Bomb can't fight. Uh, def defenses. That you two. They come to the door. That's step one. See where they land. Oh, right. It oh, poor Galen. No, <laughs> Galen, run. Galen, run. Go hide in here. That's five. Is that all of them? Is that it? All right. That shouldn't be bad then. Looks like it drones ending. That's quite nice. Um, honestly, let's just man the doors. And they're actually trapped in there, which is kind of funny. If they set fire to this, that would be amazing. They just burn to death. <laughs> um. We have five point. What if we just put a lightning cloud in there and then summoned a bunch of elementals? We actually have all the elementals. Uh, I do want to get the minions because that sounds fun. But I also really like the idea. And sure. But I also really want the pylon because, like, we're gonna have the lightning totem, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have the elementals, we're gonna have such a good defense. From like two people. The defense is easy, offense is kind of the issue. Wow, rude. Alright. Uh. Okay, a little danger, a little close. Let's just hold this open. Back up just a little. Okay. And just fill the room. And then we're gonna summon elementals right here. Um, and honestly, run. <laughs> just run. Okay, down immediately. But there is lightning. Okay, and then... Yeah, then this will just kind of take care of itself. Uh, Tom Bomb, Tom Cast Regenerate. That'll be fine. Alright, well, good defense, everyone. You like the wand. Seems like it bypasses armor. I might be wrong about, but. It is also legendary quality. We have to remember that. Not all of our ones are going to be this good. But the accuracy, though. Huge range. Great accuracy. Only 13% armor penetration. Yeah, so not great. For fighting the Empire, armor penetration is going to be important unless we can do, like... Really, unless we can do burn or lightning damage? I don't know what lightning damage counts as. Did anyone get hurt by the lightning, by the way? Oh yeah, a little bit. Or a lot. Um... Me? It, uh... I didn't know that was a thing. And I don't know how to take advantage of it, so... I kind of not worry about it. <laughs> In all honesty. Um. Oh, now what? Why? Leave them alone. <laughs> How many? Four. Everyone's up. 
But I'm healing. I'm not going to do that now, but that's something to note for the future. You can just throw one of those down. This totem. It's so good. Bring it home. Wouldn't club equals no. No, none of that. Uh, do we want to steal their lunch? Sure. I've started work on the writing slash reading room. And while I was just kind of meandering around, trying to work out what I want to do, uh, I realized one of the things we researched and that we can build is a flesh golem and also um, where is it? mecha golems, which... This one is expensive. I think we needed human meat for the other golem. So it's going to be a little upsetting to create, but if we need an army, because we need more bodies to take on the empire, that much is clear. Oh, and I think our caravan just got back. Sure did. Uh, I don't think we need Tom Bomb to... They're more or less healed. Um, yeah, if we're just looking in terms of bodies and like a front line to help us, even just to defend so we can take more wizards with us when we attack, I feel like that's a really good way to go. Especially as we're kind of going for that blend of like magic and science here so having a mix of the flesh golems and the mecha golems i find really appealing so i don't know i don't think we have enough oh we have a lot of plasteel so what was it for one of these plasteel steel 10 components 10 components is a lot we're gonna need some more components and then four advanced components Ooh. yeah i don't think we have four advanced components just lying around uh, unless I'm lying and we definitely have four advanced components lying around. I don't know. I don't see it. Uh oh. Well, look, just as I was talking about making a library, we get a next relic. Okay, so we'll start picking up quests for that as well. That's quite nice. Um, so... Oh, and we have a leg ready to go for bagger. Yeah, let's throw that in while I remember. Otherwise, he'll be hobbling around for forever. That's the right leg. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, this all kind of falls into place. So, I guess... I think it's under misc, right? We need a comms console. I guess we'll just slot in here. And the trade... You can I mean I don't know the best way to do this because we're not really using a centralized stockpile. What I've done in the past is I throw one of these down, put a stockpile around it, and then put anything we want to sell in there. But this time I'm thinking I mean the flake is the big one, right? And then anything else is either gonna be Coffee or beer. Wait, anything that we're going to put in here. So, why don't I just stick it in the middle of the 
Does it have a beauty? No. So that should be fine. We'll just throw them in. We'll see what happens. I'm not min-maxing it to the fullest. But I don't care too much about that. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Needed some good news. Once robot put on Parker. Mm. I'd rather have some armor. All we can make is flak at the moment, though. Honestly, a couple of f extra flak vests might not be the worst thing to have lying around. They're a little expensive, but... Why don't we just make like three each of these and just see how that does for us? Is that I'd rather them be overprotected than under. Okay, snow hairs. How many? And 24 isn't that bad. Considering our wealth is 225, I was getting like 60 plus. Of my other save. Um. Alright, well. Oh, I haven't re equipped their weapons. Macavity, grab. I, I really don't think we need to worry too much about the bunny assault. Um. I saw you dropped your sword over here. Um. Uh, you should have put down your mace. Though I think we need to get you something else because you did not last very well in that fight. It's still over here? Absolutely is. And Bagger still down from surgery. But we did get it implanted. Um Honestly, I'm only gonna draft these two. Just bring them here. And I think between like a turret and robot. We should be able to... I mean, I could just summon the elementals and then go back. Yeah, you know what? There's a little bit of a problem. The sight lines on this aren't great. I only get bored, but hopefully they'll... Yeah, okay. Oh, oh and they're coming right through the middle. Um, what if we just... Wow, I didn't kill as many as I thought it would. Get in there. Oh, and Cat's, Cat's getting mauled. That's a little embarrassing. Oh, it's only a bruise. Okay, that's less embarrassing. Oh god. <laughs> they just beelined past him. Did you pick up your weapon yet? Uh, oh, you are on your way for your sword when the bunny is attacked. Why? Okay. Why am I so bad at judging like how threatening things are? I'm like, oh, 20 bunnies, that won't do anything. Oh god. I'm sorry, bunnies. Service rifle, lowering your mineral scout, transport pod. Okay, we'll research this in case the portals don't work how I want them to. Oh, we got an eye of the storm. Uh. uh. that for sure. And now... Yeah, we can definitely start putting points into those. Um, this might be a good place to leave it. Um, 
in the meantime, I'm going to clean up the base a little bit. I'm going to put in some roads, or not roads, but paths, uh, so they can get around a little bit quicker and it'll look a little nicer. We have a lot of buildings, it'd be nice to connect them all up. Uh, <laughs> this still needs some more thinking. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this. But it kind of feels like we can obliterate most things that are arriving at the moment, so... Not too concerned. I'm gonna put all the writing stuff in here. Make a little nice book library area. When I've made them before, they never... Like, I make beautiful little chairs around the books with shelves so that they can just pick them up and read them, and they don't. They'll carry them halfway across the map to read them at a table. Even if I put one right next to it. I don't know why. But, you know, that's that's life, I guess. Um, what else? Armor. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to scan through a lot of our lists, make the scrolls so that we can get the super spells, uh, make some of these gems just to see what they do, or at least read them to see what they do. Replication scan. One scrolls the scanned item. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, that... That's hurting my brain a little. I'll have to look at that some other time. But yeah, this is... This was successful. We took down... I mean, barely, but we took down one of the Empire's bases. We're a third of the way there. It's it's only going to get harder from here, I'm sure, but this was a step in the right direction. Hi, welcome back. As you can see, I've paved over, made some nice little roads. I think it looks quite nice. Um, obviously, they're not super efficient, but... I prefer a more natural kind of vibe, if I can go for it. I'm not... Look, I'm not that creative, so... Don't expect too much, but I think it looks okay. Um, I've also... I've never used the colored lights. But I really like the effect, like, with the marble flooring. I think this looks really cool. Uh, so bad news. We don't we don't have components. We've, we've run out, and I've looked around the map. We have mined out. Every single component. So unless we want to start digging into mountains, which I <laughs> I don't really want to do at the moment, uh, we're going to get out there and trade for them. Which shouldn't be too bad, because we have these guys who are neutral, uh, and they'll buy our flake and beer and whatever else we want to send. I mean, the flake should be enough. We don't need thousands of components just yet until we get fabrication which you know who knows how long that'll take thank you semi-random research uh what else do i need to catch you up on well i've made a selection of the master scrolls so why don't we get people learning those uh you eat that well, who else is do we have guardian spirit was risa yeah so you can read that I'm also getting my cavity just to make some heal scrolls, because any magic user can learn these, and I figure it's a good thing to have if we have a repeat of the uh, raid on the Empire, then this should this should make it easier to to recoup, recoup our people. Uh, Poppy is can't. This one I'm not sure how useful it is, but I'm excited to see. And then Psychic Shock is McCavities, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I think there was one person who I've left out. We already got Eye of the Storm. Did I leave someone out? No, maybe that's everyone. This bagger doesn't get any. Okay, let's get them... Yeah, so he has his. And we'll start putting some points into these to see how they go. Now, 
Yours is the one I'm kind of interested in. What does this do? Vicious Poppy, the rabbit, and eagerly turn to enemy formations. Okay. This this doesn't clear anything up for me, so we'll just dump some points into it, we'll cast it when we get a raid, and we'll call that good. Uh, also, I went through all of these gems, and they all say this, so it can be used to imbue an item, and, you know, they have various effects, so I'm just making one of each apart from... Uh, I think the Gem of Resistance, because this nullifies arcane damage, but obviously we're not fighting arcane users. Uh, I don't know if I kept it in, but right after I finished recording the last episode, we got a weapons drop, um, and we got a handheld auto cannon turret, and... It, it doesn't go into a stockpile. Like, if I... So it's called, uh... Handheld Autocannon. But if I go in here... And... Handheld Mortars? I don't know, there's just nothing here. So I can't put it anywhere. You can only equip it and carry it places. So I've just given it to McCavity for now. As he was the only one really using a, a gun, like an actual gun. I've also queued up... There's a whole bunch of stuff here. I just kind of queued up the ones which look like they'll help us. Um, I feel like we're going to get everyone a Wanderer's Cloak because that improves speed. The problem with a lot of these is they lower Mental Break Threshold, which scares me a little bit. Because Mental Breaks can be really devastating if you get kind of a chain reaction of them. Uh, we're making a couple of ones of ice, which are going to be our weapons. I don't know. I feel like we need to get one or two more people who can, who can, you know, sling some spells. Because really, like, these guys are never going to do it. I mean, eh. You have terrible shooting, so I'd rather get you a melee weapon. And then what? McCavity can have one? And then that's it, we have two ranged people. Oh, well, I guess Risa... But again, just terrible shooting. So... I don't know, we're gonna make the ones. The ones seem really good. I'm not making the super ones, like... We have this one, the defense defender. Staff of the Defender, and then there's also a Staff of Blazing Power, which is another relic. So I'm not going to build those, we're going to wait for those to come up as a relic. Um, yeah, no, I think that's that's all I have to catch you up on. So let's, uh, let's send Cat out into the world, because they're our social person. So they'll get the best price. Two days, I was hoping it'd be a little faster than that, but we can manage okay uh let's give you all of the fleet how much is that worth 400 times 14 and that's like close to 5,000 I mean knock off like 3,500 4,000 after their you know tax um Uh, here, take this. No, take the go juice. Uh, maybe leave us a couple of go juice just in case. Then the yayo. We haven't been using the yayo yet. And now we're gonna have to replenish the flake. So, I think I'm thinking too hard about this. Let's, well, let's give them a. Just in case, because the settlements usually have like a decent amount of money, so if anything, if anything, we can make some silver out of this. Uh, and then you're taking meals. Yes, that's fine. Don't take the Glitter World medicine. Take some regular medicine, you'll be fine. 
We can always buy them a snack when they get there. All right, that's good. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, whilst these do increase the mental break threshold or decrease the mental break threshold, a lot of the items we can make increase experience gained, which will let them get levels faster, which will be good because we're slowing down a little bit and you know, we, we everyone just unlocked a new spell. We really do need them to be at full power if we can help it. So I think, well, goal is to finish this room, definitely. And also probably get some flooring in here if we can. Uh, this isn't as incredible as it envisioned. I mean, it's it's OK. It's very busy. I wish we had some better storage options for this kind of stuff. But it's OK. I can't really complain. And obviously, a lot of this is going to take forever, but we, in theory, oh, it's steel. I thought that was flake and I was very confused. It's going to take a while, but I'm happy to just let them kind of run with that and we'll pick things up as we get them. That did remind me of something though. I wanted, I don't know where we're going to put this, but I did want to make the arcane capacitor in the dimensional mana pocket so that they can when they're full mana they can just deposit some because if I if I'm understanding what this does yeah it is it, it works incredibly fast but it drains mana of the person using it so just read these real quick so this stores mana. Mages assigned to magic tasks will charge the battery until it reaches its fill level. Their mana level is set to 90% of the maximum. Is the game paused or... That was weird. Anyway. Uh... The arcane capacitor will discharge mana to any undrafted pawn in range if the mana ratio of the capacitor is greater than 250% of the mage. Drafted mage will forcibly draw mana. Hmm. That will discharge mana to any undrafted... Okay. The mana is lost during the process. And then this... Stores a tremendous amount of mana and has a large distribution area, but is slower than the arcane capacitor. And then similar. Efficiency 80%. This was efficiency 70% or 71. So this is something you want on the front lines. I'm not going to do right now, but in theory you have it on the front line, so when they cast their spells, it quickly increases their mana. But we want this. Yeah, I understand. So we do this, and then on magic... Basically, I'm going to put everyone, no. well, everyone with mana on three, because they shouldn't be able to make any of this stuff, well, except maybe infuse the chunks, which I don't mind them doing, because they don't have the crafting or the intellectual that McCavity has. But when they're full mana and they have nothing else to do, they can come over here and dump their mana into here, which will charge McCavity when he's doing his crafting. Proud tortoises, say no more. I want you to take care of three tortoises for 23 days. Wait, hold on. Let me let me reread that because I get a tech print. 
wants me to take care of three tortoises that can't move. I mean, sure. I guess for a tech print, that's pretty reasonable. Um, and I can just dump some of these in the corner. Well, actually, no. Let's just put them... We put them over here. Well, I don't want them outside. I'm a little scared about putting them in the freezer. <laughs> Though apparently, you, you do put turtles in the freezer, right? Or the fridge when they hibernate. Uh, we have a spare bedroom. We do. Hmm. I want them as close as possible to here so we can feed them really easily. What about in the prison? Let's not cramp them together like that. Let's... Give them a bit of dignity. As much as a paralyzed turtle can have, I guess. Yeah, give me... give me this. Okay, turtles arrived. Please rescue... But I... These need to be in a pen. No. Thank goodness. Which is good, because... That's a lot more effort than I wanted. Um... Okay, he's rescuing them. These are some great names. Conqueror, Einstein, and Howard. The three paralyzed turtles. Aren't you so glad to be out of the... Oh, they do lay eggs, though. I wonder if they can lay eggs. I wonder if they can lay eggs if they're paralyzed. I assume no, but maybe? And now we have a goat called Farter. Um... <laughs> Well, this yak is dead. Maybe this bear has some information about this dead yak. Excuse me, sir, where were you on the night of the 1st of September, 5502? 03? You're in a lot of trouble. Hey, we just got a mana surge, which is good because we finished our mana hole, so they'll be able to fill that quicker. The other thing, I noticed we were running a little low on meat, so I designated a bunch of animals uh, to be hunted. And then I realized our hunter's macavity. So I'm very excited to see our cannon in action against some very defenseless hedgehogs. Okay, he's hunting the turkey. Wait, who just made those? The braces of defense. Where? How? Who? Where are they? Must have been Risa? You put them on? Oh, you did. Oh, they're bad. to block physical attacks. So I wanted to give these to Robot because they give you the chance to just block 40% block chance and then a 10% arcane resistance which is useless. But oh, that's kind of a secondary enchantment. Oh wait, McCamity, McCamity. Where are you? Kill me. Kill me. Kill this turkey. You're really making a meal out of this. Oh. Oh. I, I, okay. I mean, it, it, you can't argue with results, right? 
I was hoping to get an idea of, you know, how it functions. Now oh, you're having a snack? Okay. Okay, well, that's your lunch break. Now, if you could... Is he just a really good shot? I mean, he's a decent shot, but... No, he's literally the only one holding a weapon, so I don't have much to compare it to. I mean, EPS is high as the accuracy isn't great. Okay, close range is terrible, but mid range. I mean, it's the same as a. Well. Okay. It's, it's not awful, it's not great, but it's one-shotting everything. I mean, granted, we're using it on small animals, but it's one-shotting everything. <laughs> um, no, don't do the squirrel. Try one of the... where are the goats? Please don't crash the game, but also kill this goat. Okay, let's go normal speed. Oh, oh my god. I was so sure that was a crash. Okay. Um, uh, yes, trade. You got any, any components there? Got Griffin. Who's Griffin? Or is it... Okay, it's a Griffin. I thought it was a creature called Griffin. Okay. A pack animal? It's rideable. Okay, uh, this is ours. Bunch of nonsense. They do have a lightning wand. According to the weapons tab, the frost wand is better, so I wasn't gonna make any of these. So, no, you're good. Moving on. Okay, now, you're making me miss the show. Get him. Do it. Oh, wow. That's pretty great. What is that? Oh, sorry. That's pretty great. It fires fast, it hits hard, it's relatively accurate. It seems a lot more accurate than the game is giving it credit for. I wonder why that is. But... Okay. Time for some hot trading action. Uh, that's tempting, but no, maybe another time. Okay. Components? Components. Um. 69, nice. And an advanced component. How much for all of these? 3,000. Sure. Neat trade helper. That would be. If I give you all of this. Uh, and then I throw in some beer just for. Oop, that's not beer. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Go home. Bring me the money. That's pretty good. Maybe we should stop befriending some of the natives to maybe help us in our campaign against the Empire. Now that we've kind of loosened their grip on this area, maybe we can convince them that we're the better option. Yeah, that's... It's, it's pretty good. As much as I... I need to... Rec I, I think we need a few more people. Just so we can have, like, three people with wands, three people with these magical, like, one with a laser sword, a couple with a thrombo, like, magically imbued bone weapons. And then we just have a guy with a minigun. <laughs> it's like, what's, what's your magical powers? I have a big gun. Any other questions? No, no, sir. <laughs> That's good for me. Uh, let's make sure this is allowed. And I did set up a bill for this, right?
Let's not replant this. Uh, and I'm probably not going to do it on screen, but I do need to rethink this because we're getting tons and tons of like the things we don't necessarily need. I mean, corn is nice, I have to admit. Um, so I'll probably let that go, but. Well, the psychoid's doing okay. I guess the coffee and the beer is the question mark. So how much coffee do we actually need? I mean, that's a trick question. All of it is the right answer. And then I guess, yeah, just whatever material we want. Or we could focus on, like, heal root. What's our medicine looking like? Where is our medicine? Oh, it's all over here. Hmm... I mean, we could make some medicine. I think we have that technology. Yeah, but we need nutro nutroamine. I know we have some of that. 63. That's 63 medicine we could make. It's not nothing. I don't think we have growable nutroamine. Risa, look, I'm grateful you're getting this done while my cavity is busy with other stuff, but it's just awful. <laughs> ability, another ability resistance. I wonder if that's just what they do. Yeah, this blocks attacks and deflects projectiles. So between this and the defender, I was going to see... The mana seems to be going down. But that's probably because they're using this. I assume. I don't know. I'm going to assume that this is working. And that maybe when Risa does her thing here be able to see. It's on 86. Yeah, and you see it already starts draining as she was low. An ancient complex nearby is said to contain information about the Book of the Dead. If you can break into the structure and hack the computers, all manner of dangers, sure. Where is it? Okay, it's in the mountains, but it's not too far away. Why don't we take the away team? By that I mean... Robot and Bagger. Yeah, I see, like, we need at least one more ranged person, I feel. Because McCavity is our only option, and I want him doing other things. But we'll bring him this time, and we'll see who we find there. We might find someone to drag back with us and throw in a cell. Get rid of that. Make some of these. Uh... I'm gonna do the rice again. Just for safety. Okay, we've arrived. And they've immediately gone to sleep. Well, that's a good sign. Um, what are we looking at here? Nothing outside. Four days. Come on, don't sleep around on the job up here.
insects have woken up. Um. Hmm. Maybe get out of there. Maybe just leave for the moment. Also, a bunch of ducks have joined. How many duck? Eight duck? That's acceptable amount of duck. Um, where put duck? Guess here would be good to have all of our junk. Um, move, move junk to here, where it's in everyone's way and really disgusting looking. To make nice area for duck. Tempting. Very tempting. Uh, dig out this area to put disgusting thing. Potential roof collapse? Uh, I mean... Put down a couple of these. Something like this. And then... Uh, if for the moment we just do a... I don't know what it is about... Ducks, but... Like... If it was more or less... Oops. If it was more or less any other animal, I'd just slaughter them instantly. But duck, duck speak to me somehow. Duck, duck are my people. Hopefully that counts as sealed. I know the corners are a little weird, but this is just temporary. Temporary duck. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. Every time I do something with the force mechanic now, I'm just worried about crashing, even though it's... To be honest, it's happened pretty rarely in my games, so... Oh, well. No, don't go that way. Go this way. What are you doing? Oh, those insects. I'm running through the fire. Um, get behind here. You get right here. This robot can come back over here. Area is now safe. Okay. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Um, how did he do that? We'll explore the rest. Okay, that's a crate. That's a security crate. Sure. You get in there, you open it. What the... These giant insect-like creatures live on the ground and burrow up to attack when attracted by noise or pheromone signals. What? Small insectoid made almost entirely of royal insect jelly. Tech print. Nice. I don't think this leads anywhere, but 
I'll check. Man. Elf. Yeah, nothing. Uh, how you doing, my cavity? Fine. Okay. Well. Oh, that's okay. We'll get that one last. What are you wearing? Almost nothing. I mean, I'll take your Nutrimine, but otherwise, much to say to you. is good we finished all the magic stuff but it's not it's all like poor quality mostly because Risa did it I guess now McCavity is back now McCavity is back we could get him to redo it put a lot into this though. well actually I guess we didn't really. Like we got through this really fast. So uh Hello, I hear a murder. Ah. You you lost. You lost to a turkey. You're gonna die. I'll be having that. Mark that for hunting, but it'll probably die before gravity stops eating. Uh, me? You are supposed to have paralytic aphasia. Um, That's a little concerning. Okay, let's quickly make an area for you to wander. Uh, new area. Hurdle. I want to make sure they can't get in the freezer, <laughs> if possible. Just around here should be fine. I don't want them to like accidentally wander over here and get caught in the crossfire. So let's do this. And what I'll do is I'll let them in the... What if I just put the area in the duck pen? Would they just stay in the duck pen? I mean, uh, doesn't really matter. That should be in the turtles. What do they need to wander for? I guess this doesn't need to be medical anymore. Alright, well I think this is going to be a good place. And I cut it off. We've made some good progress. We have a couple of projects to work on. I need to move this over. Let the ducks out. Oh, what? Oh. Feed, you said. Oof, that's a little... That's a little more our speed. So... One of them's injured again. That is red fox paw. Is immunity? What is going on? They're of our... Are they one of ours who escaped? Is this one of the people we left behind at the other... 
settlement. I mean, it definitely could be. That's so weird. Yeah, because none of the others have our... Alright, well on that mystery... I'll have to go back and check. This could be one of our previous... people. Um, but yeah, we'll deal with this next time. Uh, Project Duck is well underway. We have a whole bunch of... <clears throat> new magic gear that everyone's just kind of grabbed for themselves. We'll need to actually track that down and see who gets what and, you know, what a, what a wow. That, that does look cool. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.